still, uh, before you proceed. Yes. Rewind, kidogo. <laughs> 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 you said. Yes. Them being appreciated. Yes. You're referring to the leader. Oh, yes. Being appreciated by the follower. By the followers, you know. Highlight a bit more about that because I believe that one has an effect on the productivity of uh, of the work environment. Oh, yes. Huh? You, you know, it's very different for you to be given a certain title, but also being given the instruments of power. And that's why during the inauguration, we see the president being given the sword. Uh, the yes. constitution uh -huh. and all these uh -huh. things, uh -huh. you know, to ensure that he feels that he has the capacity to perform and do according to the mandate that he has been given. Mm. So, in, in, so now let's bring it back now to the in office. The, yes, you know, uh, y y we have seen, and uh, I'm sure you have been to the universities, institutions, mm. and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. uh, when you refer to your lecturers, do you refer to them by Mister Who and Who, or is it Doctor Professor Who and Who? Mm -hmm. you know? some, some, some people say Doctor, uh, Doctor, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and if you dare say Mr. Yeah. Uh, you know, yes. or, or, or Madam, by their name, yes. you know, yes. you'll yes. be in for a lot of trouble, you mm -hmm. know, showing that you don't appreciate where they are. Or, or saying sir instead of professor. Or oh, professor, yes. Yes. yes, you know, and we have one Sir Churchill, so if you dare say, you know, <laughs> Mr. Churchill, <laughs> that would be a very, a very big offense for yes, you, yes. you know. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, when we place them in those positions, do we give them all the powers or even uh, the, the, the how to actually perform, you know? Mm -hmm. And you see as uh, the, the employees and all that, we always complain, mm -hmm. but you don't facilitate their, their, their stay at that position in a good way, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by doing our, our role, mm -hmm. or playing our role very well, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Every other time we critiquing, you know, we just mm -hmm. complaining about how they are, all right? And you see, we have to accept the mere fact that they're in that position and we are where we are. Mm -hmm. You know, because we all want to be at that top position. But we don't understand that it comes with a lot of, you know, responsibilities it's and it's all that. You know, yes. also, they also want to be somewhere else. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. you know. And that's why when you look at the Abraham Maslow hierarchy of needs, yes. you know, everybody wants to get to the actualization. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for them, being at that esteem, where we tend to appreciate them, recognize them for what they have done, that's not where they want to be. Mm -hmm. They want to get to a point whereby they have actually self-actualized. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And with this, that tells you, when that, they that position, it, uh, it is a very good position for us, the employees. Why? Because for them, they are not motivated by the salaries or the big, big cars and all that. They are after transforming the lives of the other people, mm -hmm. leaving a legacy. And this is where we need to appreciate because everybody has to go through that particular path mm -hmm. where there are those who are quite lucky. They might find themselves in those mm -hmm. positions mm -hmm. uh, straight from, say, uh, the college and all that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't happen every other time, you mm -hmm. know, unless yeah. it is a family business where you have a shop and you're the manager in that local shop you yeah. understand yeah. so if we're in this position whereby we have a leader it's very important for us to understand that you also have a role to play as the employees to ensure that the organizations perform well and also our leader is appreciated the issue is when they are celebrated we have an issue and it's very important that we feel included in that particular achievement. Question, mm -hmm. Kagondo. Du during the process of self-actualization mm -hmm. for this leader, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you think it brings about the dark side of transformational leadership? The, the dark side of? If mm. they're not, they not able to self-actualize. Self Absolutely. And this is where we find ourselves beating ourselves quite highly, you know, and especially when you feel you have not delivered. Mm -hmm. You know, we all want to be the mother, uh, the Wangari, Mathai okay. of this okay. nation, mm. you know. We want to be the Madiba Mandela mm. of this world, all right? But if this is our uh, this is our desire and we don't get there, what do we do? We self sabotage, you understand? All right. Mm -hmm. And this is where you find so many leaders who are so bitter with mm -hmm. those who are around them. Because mm -hmm. they feel you're not supporting me in the best way possible to get to where I want to be. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because mm -hmm. the thing is, this is a teamwork. Mm. Yes. All right? This is where we all participate mm -hmm. in this particular journey. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as, yes, like we say, I'm there to be celebrated, uh, you, you also contributed to that. And this is where we need to appreciate ourselves in the levels that we are in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so uh, the way we treat them will reflect back on us. Eventually. Yes. Ba bounce it back. Yes. It, there's yes. a recoil. There, there's a, th th that effect is usually there, you mm -hmm. know. Because uh, when we have bitter leaders, then that means we are not happy mm -hmm. at the workplace, yeah. you know. Because yeah. mm -hmm. if they have issues to deal with. And you see, one question that I ask people is, 
uh, yes, we look at them as our heroes. We look at them as uh, the source of hope. But where do they go to? Who supports them? Do you get to think about their well-being? You yes. know, you're always complaining about that manager. You're complaining about the president. Yes. But we get to think about their well-being. Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. Are we adding salt to the wound, mm -hmm. or are we making their stay, you know, comfortable and creating an environment that they can be able to actually perform as because, per the mandate? Because as as we complain uh, complain about something as followers, our leaders are also complaining about something. As leaders. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, yes. That's yes. a funny yes. bit of yes. this. Yes. It is. They're also complaining about something as leaders. Yes. 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 You have an input there? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, actually, a question, Kagondu. Mm. So now, what is our responsibility as the youths, mm -hmm. given that we have these bitter leaders within us? Actually, it is you who can answer that. You tell us. <laughs> now, now you tell us. <laughs> what, what is our responsibility as youth? You tell us now. Uh, as, as, as a youth. I think that's that's very difficult because it's it's a psychological issue. It's a psychological issue, and that's why I was trying to get the psychological input from mm. Kagondu. But from an individual perspective, mm. I will say at that point I'll try as much as possible to be human. Because because that's why we are having this conversation yeah. because we don't understand whether youth understand this particular particular aspect of transformational leadership and the role they play. Yes, yes, yes. But yes. you're saying it's difficult to understand. It. It's it's very difficult because. Do our leaders talk about these things? When was the last time you heard about a leader talking about, I'm really going through this? Whatever you're saying about me on social media is affecting me in this way. Do mm. they really talk about this? Mm -hmm. So it's always us criticizing. It's always us withdrawing from the emotional bank account. Mm. So they are always pouring. They're and, always and, pouring. And, and that's why I, I brought up the aspect of social media. So the leader in turn, doesn't actually tell us how they feel and uh, they delete their accounts yeah delete their posts or say you know what i'm out of this place yeah <laughs> you won't see me again yeah, yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's it's toxic is that how it should be remember you said earlier that leaders should embrace criticism it is you know and positive one in that case all right but if it is negative then we have to look for healthy mechanisms to deal with it you know when you say that they are deleting we have different people uh, responding or dealing with challenges in different ways mm. there are those that will actually take a flight and they will run for their lives you know and that's where they will delete their accounts they will delete those posts because for them they can't stand the heat of the moment mm. right mm. there are those that are actually going to fight and i've seen like my area mca mm. Uh, whenever someone tries to challenge him, mm. uh, he'll give you some a piece of his mind, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm left there wondering, yeah. okay, is this really what we want from our leader? Because that tells you, for them, they are not able to like really absorb um, criticism, the, the, the criticism yeah. in a very good way, right? Mm -hmm. There are those that will just stay there, you know, and for them, they just freeze and they'll do absolutely nothing about it. And you this is the question. Right? The question yeah. here that comes also is. Is that a reflection of who we are? It is. Exactly. Uh, it is. <laughs> and, and it's a reflection we, of who we are. Yeah, it we, is. We began by saying that before the leader, before the titles that we have, we have the individual. Mm -hmm. I'm a person. Before I'm a, a counseling psychologist, I'm actually me. You understand? Mm -hmm. Before you are the TV host, you have your personal life. Mm -hmm. Before she's the scientist, she has her personal life. You understand? Mm -hmm. And this is what will mold us and make us the kind of a leader that we will be. Right? Yes. And the thing is, because we all have challenges, we all have issues, we all have those weaknesses, are we redeemed to a point whereby we can be able to surpass and overcome those challenges in a healthy way? Because mm -hmm. right? the challenge is, yeah. most of them, uh, for them, uh, depending on the history, you know, where they're coming from, they tag along. You know, all those uh, become baggages and mm. they carry along to the leadership, yeah. you mm. know. Mm. If I never dealt with this particular issue, then be, uh, be one that is going to present itself yeah. at some point in your leadership. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh -huh. The le thing is, yes, we have uh, this uh, criticism, say, on the social medias and all that. Uh -huh. And remember, Kathleen was talking about the resources that we have. Mm. Who are surrounding you? And the question, uh, qu the question is, are you the one who is running your account? Do you have some support system 
alongside, you know, surrounding you. Because the thing is, when there's a lot of pressure, when there's a lot of challenges, mm -hmm. where do you run to? And this is where I was asking the question. When we have the leaders who we look up to as our heroes, mm -hmm. who is their hero in Ex this particular case? Exactly, you yes. understand? Yes. Why? Because for them, they're breaking down at mm -hmm. night, you yeah. know, in silence, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. uh, behind those social media walls, mm -hmm. yet they're doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know, to ensure that oh, uh, they, they are okay and that uh, they are dealt with. Remember when they are whole, they are okay, mentally okay, mm. then they can be able to perform well. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Right. Yes, a, good, a good example is um, Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. He is a transformational leader. Mm -hmm. But now, recently, we have seen him disseminating information that every person who works for him should be at the office at least 40 hours a week. That was a reactive response. But mm -hmm. what brought it? Something brought it up. Something brought it up, mm -hmm, yeah? Mm -hmm. So as people who are being governed, do we take time to actually look at our leaders from a human perspective? And, and, and uh, I'm aware you have an event coming up. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yeah. we, we actually do, uh -huh. yes. So we have an event this Wednesday. We will be hosting one of the presidential aspirants. Mm -hmm. And we will be talking about transformational leadership. Mm -hmm. So this is one of our various uh, things that we do as Future Leaders Kenya, where mm -hmm. we try as much as possible to disseminate information mm -hmm. to the youths. And, 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 and of course, this is why, this, uh, the why we need to have this partic particular conversation yes. about the importance of transformational leadership in the country. Yes. So what should we be looking out for uh, f uh, when it comes to this event? Kangudu, and then uh, I'll come back to you. Yes, okay. yes uh, we have one of the most amazing uh, guys that we have around. Mm -hmm. You know, he has overcome challenges, you know, and uh, he has portrayed himself as a transformational leader. Yeah. That is Sakigame, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, uh, when you talk about youth and leadership, uh, the gap that we have is that most of them, they don't have mentors or people that they can look up to. You know, all that we have, it could be showbiz, but we don't have the true definition of who a transformational leader is. So expect a lot of uh, insights, mm -hmm. you know, from this particular uh, event, you know, where oh. we'll be able to discuss and uh, talk about what exactly it means. Mm. And the question that we have been asking ourselves, what should the youths do? You know, that will be answered in that particular event because mm. you also have a mandate. You know, we always say that the youth are the future leaders, you know, the, the leaders of tomorrow. But mm. the thing is, the future is here with us, you know. And what can we do to ensure that the world, our nation, our families, our societies, and we as individuals, we have been transformed to a point whereby we can actually perform and be productive in every other circle that we are in. Because the thing is, if I as an individual, I haven't worked on myself, then well, when, wherever I am, the organizations that I'm working in, mm -hmm. they can never feel my effect. Mm -hmm. So many of us will go through school, but the school doesn't get to feel us. So many of us will be working in a certain organization, but the organization doesn't feel our impact. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, what is our position as a young people? And uh, a lot, you know, in addition to that, will be what we'll be discussing. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, yes. I like what Kagondu is, is really saying. So we'll be debunking a lot on the power plan. Mm to transformation of leadership. And uh, when, um, and uh, where is it? Baza, Baza, Baza. Plaza. Baza yes. Plaza. Yes, from 2 to 5 p.m. 2 to 5 p.m. Yes, yes, Date. yes. Yes, Date. 8th of June. 8th of June. It will yeah. be on a Wednesday. On yes, a Wednesday. yes. Right. So basically, just like Agodu was saying, we'll look at the roadmap. Mm -hmm. Because more often than not, transformational leaders will begin with the end in mind. This is what I want to do. But mm -hmm. what is the roadmap? And then we'll try and look at it from all facets. At the end of the day, what we want to achieve is a holistic development of what transformational leadership is wow, all about. Wow. Yes. I, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. Okay. And, and as we do so, uh, um, be, uh, I want to give you time to have a parting shot. Um, a final um, a view on this particular issue, even as talk about the role of the youth when it comes to transformational leadership, even as you give in your parting shot. Let me start with you. Um, as youths and as ambassadors of this country, mm -hmm. it is our role, it is our mandate for us to influence the change that we want to see mm -hmm. in the future. We carry a heavy burden for the generations that are coming up. We carry a heavy burden for the generations or the people that are lost within us. So in our own spectrums of life, let us try as much as possible to influence positive change, mm -hmm. to question poli policies that are disadvantageous to us, mm -hmm. and to influence advocacies that are of benefit to us. Mm -hmm. In whatever we are doing, are you a business owner? Are you in employment? Are you starting a young family? Whatever it is, 
that or, or rather wherever you are in life mm. try and influence the positive change that you'd like to no, see uh, yes. how can people find you on social media uh, Kathleen Moraithi on mm -hmm. all social uh, media avenues. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. All right. Asana, asana. Kagundu, final word. Yes, we are where we are because of our forefathers, what they did there before. I remember what we do today, we are going to be judged harshly by history. Yes. Then, you yes. know, yeah. by those who come after us. We always complain about the leaders that we have, but remember we all have a personal responsibility individually to do what we can. Remember we are all leaders in our different capacities, say mm -hmm. at home, at the workplace and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And you see the beauty about leadership, it has a ripple effect, you know. Uh, when you transform yourself, when you work on yourself, those around you will feel the warmth. Yeah. So do something yeah. about yourself, mm -hmm. work on yourself, let's mm -hmm. stop complaining about the leaders that we have mm -hmm. yet, because we have a mandate as individuals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the social medias, you can find me as Kagondu Junior mm -hmm. on all platforms mm -hmm. or Mindcare Africa mm -hmm. on all platforms. Talk about the IG, YouTube, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. That's right, that's right. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank that you was for a nice conversation. Mm -hmm. I, I loved it. And of course, it's all about ensuring that we build a, a, a strong leadership uh, a style among our youth. So that they used to know who they are going to choose, why they should not choose A, B, and why they mm. should choose C and D. And, D. and of course, uh, thank you so much, Kangundu Rujunia mm. and Kathleen. Thank thank Asana, Asana, I appreciate thank your presence. Thank you, thank, thank you for having us. That brings us to the end of this conversation right on Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Magoko. We are taking a short break. We'll be back with more in a bit. It's all, it has been all about transformational leadership. I hope you've learned something. All right. We're taking a short break. We'll be back after this break. Keep it right in the morning.